Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. All right, so I'm just gonna fish out a bunch of cards to put on here, one for each one. And this is just gonna save some time. I The videos are just going way too long. <laughs> and I am just gonna try to limit this a little better when it comes to doing the reading because these messages seem to be longer and longer instead of shorter and shorter. So we're just going to do that. We'll look at the bottom of the deck after the reading for the last bit there on the Spirit's Advice. So let us keep going here and I got some new decks here I've got the tarot after which is this deck here and that just tells you what's gonna happen after these cards here so let's see here and I have the through the eyes of the soul, which I have used for the sun cards. We have um, taken out the other deck that I had and we're putting these ones in instead. And then I have the time cards here, the cards of time. So that should help with some insight. I'm also going to give some type of theme of where this reading might be headed. Um, just some insight or messages that you need to receive here <clears throat> from spirit. Yeah, there we go. And we'll look at the bottom of the deck at the very end as well. So let's look at your theme cards here first. All right, codependency, putting others first, people pleasing, unable to maybe say no. Now this could be you, this could be your person. There is a higher level of commitment coming in. It could be with someone new or someone from your past. Go buy that lotto ticket. Maybe today is a good luck day and your person has decided to act now. They are on their way. Wow, Sagittarius, this looks beautiful. Wow, okay, you might have some somebody that's competing for you here. Looks like with the Page of Wands in reverse though, they may see, um, they may see their opponent as kind of lacking in goals or maybe distracted or gullible of some sort here. So, and with the Five of Wands, this is, this is all about competing or conflicting opinions or too many options or some type of struggle here. So this may be within yourself. This could be other people competing for you. And I kind of feel like perhaps you're feeling a little pessimistic or distracted. Um, let's have a look what your sun sign says here to see a little bit more into this. We have embrace the three worlds. Okay, so we have number, <laughs> trying to see that here. Looks like 11. So this may be your ascended masters coming in to get you to look at the different realms here. Maybe you astro travel. And let's get one more and then we'll do the bottom of the deck. Let's see, what do we get here? Magic is alive. Ask your divine, oh, ask your divine get a child. Ask your divine child, magic is alive. Perhaps you have children, they may be gifted here. Wow, you may be the gifted child. Accept the opportunity that is offered. Wow, there may be an offer coming in here, maybe this higher level of commitment. You might be working on these codependent issues or your person is, okay? So take it how it resonates for you. 
this is that what you're looking at in yourself or your person is looking at in themselves let's look at your emotions here all right so perhaps you have some type of no teammate at all or if you have somebody here they want to reconcile with you with the on this this is the seven of wands seven of wands in reverse okay you might not be trusting yourself here There's a lot of conflict here. I feel like you're trying to, huh. The seven of wands, this is usually a position of advantage. And in the reverse, this is kind of, you know, not trusting yourself when it comes to whatever this is. You're not cooperating and you're not trusting yourself in your emotions here. There might be a lot of self-doubt here. What's going on here? Let's look. You might be in your shadow self working on some codependency here. Maybe realizing self-worth here. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. This has to do with passion. There's something you're supposed to take an opportunity here. So be bold and make the first move. Okay. So maybe you're meant to do something here. Ah, communicate. You may need to reach out to somebody here or they are planning to reach out to you or maybe they're meant they're supposed to be here a new start is coming wow okay so something is definitely coming in for you this may be this person needing to work on something so this may have already happened depending on where you are in your timeline here let's see how people view you or see you in your rising sign here it might be how they see your person as well here. Take it however it's resonating for you. This one wants to come. Starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. So you may be realizing what purpose you have here. Oh, there's an offer here. And look at you, the Queen of Pentacles. You've taken this offer. I feel like this helps you with your wealth. The Knight of Pentacles is someone that's slow and steady wins the race. This is somebody that's done all of the stuff from the page which is usually working on their money independently learning the trade in order to become the person of me being a, a, an owner or managing whatever that you've learned about in making your money and it looks like whatever offer you're taking this is really going to propel you into making your own money maybe you end up working together with this person on a purpose this could be something you're meant to work together on here the ancient grandmother teacher you may be needing to teach this person this could be what this this child is here accepting the opportunity that's offered but the magic is alive ask your divine child maybe you are the divine child you're meant to teach somebody something here I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. This may be things that you're picking up from your ancestors, angels, or spirit guides. I'm feeling more passed over loved ones, though, to tell you the truth. This is really going to help you make some type of wealth here. Let's look at your Jupiter, your luck. What's going on? Oh, look at that. You're swishing your cup around, and look what's coming out. All of your fish. This is something you're working on. This may be somebody that's working on bringing this offer in. You may work with this person. What's this page of cups here? This is somebody young at heart. This is working on that inner child, I feel like. 
or they have some type of innocence about them or you do this may be how they're seeing yeah look at that the crown chakra and the third chakra and the third chakra is this, this that gut feeling that solar plex that's about self-belief self-worth and i'm sure i said that knowing self having the confidence and having that clear feeling that you can trust self and then with the crown chakra this is a change with the number five and number ten is like putting something to an end when it comes to maybe sabotaging your self-belief or not trusting self i feel like that's ending you you know your worth and i feel like this is a big change for you you may even have your crown chakra these chakras may have been blocked at some point here and i feel like you're going to have things really open up and change for you when it comes to things appreciation this person whoever this higher level of commitment is whether it's you with spirit um you're going to have that gratitude there's going to be a lot of appreciation for who you are or you need to see who you are okay and this is um that cooperating and having something restored maybe you've lost yourself along the way and i feel like you're learning who you are all over again let's look at your love life here your venus here let's get a card here first we have what engagement this is the higher level of commitment i feel like this part has ended for you i feel like this person is going to totally appreciate who you are all right they're acting now they're on their way oh i can't make it up this is a new love coming in that wants to have a higher level of commitment front with you look at this healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents perhaps your parents and this magic here perhaps it was taboo kind of energy um, when you were a child maybe you were experiencing gifts and maybe your parents didn't trust that these were gifts maybe they saw it as a mental illness or they didn't trust what it was um, or didn't know how to help you through it and perhaps there's some healing of family issues here with your parents let's have a look here yeah, you may have felt like you're out in the cold and there's some reconciliation with your parents or some type of energy here where you felt lacking um, possibly from your parents side but this is this is um, something that you really felt they didn't understand I'm kind of feeling and this reconciliation is with your parents for feeling left alone you felt all alone in what was going on with you when it come to your spirituality i feel like you kind of always knew you were a little different than everybody else you're very authentic and perhaps you were not willing to entertain wearing a mask maybe had that rebellious a bit there but you're going to have this new love that comes in who wants to be engaged with you look at that and go buy a lottery ticket i love this let's see what your relationships look like here wow the emperor and then we have the prince of cups now this or the page of cups so this is young at heart somebody that's going to make you feel like a kid again like that innocence um, getting in touch with your inner child being creative having opportunities and happiness and emotional insight I kind of feel like that kindness as well Wow whoever this is they are showing up as the Emperor <laughs> this could be you but there is a cup of love being offered here it is a page of cup but this this could be something that's because it's new has to grow right so ooh, seduction uh oh 
All right, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, so this may be a third party doesn't necessarily mean that it's another woman or another man. It could be with your parents, okay? Maybe that's what's interfering when you find your new love is healing this family issues that you have here perhaps that's all happening at the same time let's see and this may happen when you're flirting and dating with your new person you're going to try to heal your family issues and this may all come at the same time it might be a little overwhelming take your time don't be rushed into anything yeah this is beautiful. This is a transformation here with growth. You may even change your mind about something here. <laughs> and go on a date. Perhaps you weren't willing to entertain this at first. And maybe you change your mind and actually accept this date. This might be getting out of your comfort zone a little let's see here what do we have interfering here all right we have a king of wands in the reverse here this is a playa playa and perhaps that's somebody that's in trying to interfere with you and your new love here they see you as the sweetheart and perhaps this is somebody that has that is interfering with this new thing you have going here let's see this is what's coming like your juno which is um influencing you okay yeah being fair number 11 to be fair okay so be fair to yourself um and what you're really looking for are you looking for that higher commitment or are you looking at just having a piece of ass i mean it's <laughs> Or perhaps you already know this person's a playa playa, or maybe you're a sweetheart and you have to have those boundaries. You need to be fair to yourself and your and this other person. Okay, so between worlds, so you might be kind of not sure which way to go here with this playa playa energy or with your emperor. Let's see here, serendipity, your luck's really going to change here, depending on what you choose. This is fruition coming in for you, number nine, attainment and fulfillment. Let's see, wow. So there may be some secrets going on here. This is having compassion. This is Pisces. This might be illusions, maybe a romantic illusion about somebody here. Maybe some something surfacing. This could be how you talk to yourself, maybe sabotaging your inner dialect here, telling, maybe being angry with self or talking mean to yourself okay it could be some insecurities or fear as well we have the three of swords in reverse here so this is getting recovering from something here this is healing forgiving and letting go here so this is beautiful for the serendipity to come in i feel like you're ready to let go of whoever this other person is you're going to be fair to yourself. You might be not sure which way to go at this certain time here, but I feel like when this new love comes in, you're really going to see who's codependent. Maybe um, this past person is codependent on you. And you're going to see what this new person's all about. And it's going to be such a difference it's going to be like night and day in the energies i feel like it's going to be a no brainer it's going to be something you're going to really see quite easily and you're such a sweetheart i feel like you're going to increase your boundaries so people aren't going to try to take advantage of you and i don't feel like your new love is going to do that to you Ah, you're going to have some spiritual growth here for your fortune and your wealth. 
Now, this could be whatever you deem as being wealth. So if you're looking at your spirituality growth, learning new things about spirituality, that might be what your value right now. Maybe in love, it could be in dollars. So let's have a look here. Heavenly signs. What? So you're going to you're going to see the signs here. Spirit's going to talk to you or tell you something here. You need to take the time. Get some rest, it says. Don't be pushed into something that you don't want to entertain or do. Okay? Adult children here. So you may be the adult child. Maybe you have adult children. Take it however it resonates for you. But there's going to definitely be signs here. And with this, you are a sweetheart. And you are recovering. Okay? So this is really going to be beautiful. Because I feel like whatever secrets and things that you have... Oh, this goes here. Um, you're going to recover from whatever this is. Okay? I feel like you're going to... I feel like you know who you are or you're realizing who you are here. What happened to the cards that go with this then? Hmm. Did I miss it? Because <laughs> these are, maybe I put them together wrong here, but we're going to get two more cards here. All right. So the world in reverse. Okay. So this is a lack of closure or maybe some baggage or a delay maybe even here and the star in reverse as well this is kind of Aquarius energy this may be feeling unfulfilled or wondering when this is going to be fulfilled for you maybe not feeling worthy of this you're going to have these things change for you. I'm going to get two more. I'm going to reach inside here. Yeah, you want to take that leap, but you don't want to be a fool here. So let's have a look at what this is. <laughs> look at that, the Queen of Cups coming out again. I don't feel like you're going to be played for a fool again. Let's see what we have in your North Node right now. Okay, we have the five of wands. So <laughs> this could be some somebody wanting to win at all costs. This could be some hostility or arguments or conflict as well. Um, this may be this past person that's the playa playa. And we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So I feel like until this closes out, your wheel won't be turning in your favor. And that could mean about your lottery ticket okay or your new person coming in because something has to close out for the new door to open and have that ability so what's going on right now this person hasn't come in yet um, until this door closes on something else here let's see what do we have Ah, you might get a message here, maybe from a new person here. You might run into somebody new. They may try to message you. Oh, la la, this has to do with the lovers. This is somebody that's interested in you. With number six, this is somebody that's going to cooperate. This is harmony. Yeah. Somebody might be concerned about this. You may be concerned about this because this can't really come in for you until something else ends or you see something you're needing to see. Maybe about yourself, if it's you that's codependent or your person may need to see or fix something in order to have this come through. Okay, yeah. This may be concern from this other person here. This may be a masculine that's concerned about you having someone else, messaging someone else, this new love. So take it however it resonates for you. 
Now let's see what spirit has for you here. Yeah. Somebody. Okay. So the towers. All right. It's a refusal to learn a lesson or denial. It could even be a divorce. You may feel like you're powerless or you don't have the strength. Maybe that's why you need to have the rest, but you're going to get definite clear messages from spirit that's going to help you. Let's see. This hasn't happened yet. This tower moment yet. Comfort. Archangel Ariel, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So you may be still healing something, maybe in denial about something at this point. Spirit's kind of saying... You know, I'm going to help you out here to help heal your heart when it comes to something here. Oh, you may need to journal here or write a book or an article. Get your story out or just get it off your chest. However you want to look at it. Whatever, however it resonates for you. See on the bottom of the deck. Ah, crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So become what you want to come in. So whatever you want or looking for, you need to make your intentions known, maybe even to spirit. Maybe they're a little fuzzy about what you really want in your life, okay? So they're not able to bring this in. They can't rip anything down for you until you have a plan of what you're looking for or what you want in your new life with this new person for them to bring it in. Yeah, you might be having a lot of sleepless nights or maybe your person is. Wow, Hierophant. So this may be getting in touch with your spirituality, finding your purpose. This may have a lot to do with spirituality, maybe your values and traditions. So let's have a look. You may be getting downloads here while you're sleeping. You might not be able to sleep at all. You could be ascending. Let's have a look here. We have Taurus energy 2104 and 2005. So this may be numbers that you've could be looking at perhaps um, create a structure two weeks to two months so this could be your plan you, you need to be clear about your intentions so it could take up to two to two weeks to two months to really figure out what you really want in your life what you're looking for your hopes dreams and what you want to do for a living if you don't already know, um, it's progressing well, okay? Two days, two weeks, so it's two, two here. Uh, it's not gonna take too long. Um, there's gonna be some balance here. And we have two twos, and that's all about balancing here. Even if we look at the four, this is about stability and safety. And Taurus energy, this could be somebody that's a Taurus that's going to come in for you but there is a main female here maybe that's concerned or maybe you are the main female that's concerned about maybe putting yourself out there again with a new love here but they're going to want to message you you date you so and marry you put a ring on it they know your value perhaps you need to be the one that knows your value yeah, they're not able to come in here because something has not ended. And then we have, yeah, something has to be put to bed, the Ten of Swords. So perhaps there's that forgiveness somewhere here. A new start is coming. Communication is key, which we have a message here. Um, you may need to make the first move by clearing something out in order and I kind of feel like maybe having that codependency worked on or just knowing what your self-worth is and it's a fiery climax that approaches here so there's going to be a lot of fire here fiery um, 
type of energy here. So this is beautiful. Sagittarius is all about the fire. This is your sign here. So something needs to be put to rest here for this to come in and it's not coming right yet. Let's have a look at what your bottom of the deck was. I realize unlimited wealth is my life in my life is my blessing. So your unlimited wealth is the blessing in your life. So wow, this is maybe something you've been wanting to have here. Maybe you have had a lack mentality or some type of codependency on other people um, when it comes to wealth. Maybe it's what you can get from that person or maybe you can't or you don't feel you can do it without someone's help. But whatever this is, you're going to realize your self-worth in all of this. This is really beautiful, Sagittarius, because I feel like everything's actually progressing already. This person's not going to take long before it comes in. It's just a matter of knowing what needs to end here, whether it's this playa playa here with some secrets. Maybe you don't know they're a playa playa. You're going to recover from this and your luck is going to change with your serendipity here. And this isn't going to be long before it's here and now. So be flexible. Those are some of the messages that I'm uncovering there. This is beautiful for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you want to donate, you can hit the description box below. Click it down and there is a PayPal link there in the description box. It will take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks if you're wanting to do that. Or just watching the video, um, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. Alright, Sir Sagittarius. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the tribe if you aren't already. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we will see you guys next time. All right, later.